Almost half a century after the murder of a Baltimore nun, DNA testing on the body of a former priest has not produced a break in the case. Jeff Hager takes a closer look at renewed interest in the finding of a killer. Sister Catherine Sesnick's death has haunted investigators for decades. But now a Netflix documentary and a twist in the real-life murder investigation have brought it to the forefront. There's an on-the-record public story of what happened to Sister Kathy. On the eve of the docu-series examining the unsolved murder of Sister Catherine Sesnick back in 1969, police here in Baltimore County decided to take a closer look at one potential suspect, former priest Joseph Maskell, who died back in 2001. And that meant exhuming his body. Maskell uh, is someone that uh, many people believe had something to do with the murder of Kathy Sesnick and we felt that it was a box that needed to be checked to determine whether his DNA matched the DNA from the crime scene. At the time of Sesnick's death, Maskell wasn't even a suspect. But all of that changed in the early 90s when he was accused of molesting female students at Archbishop Keough High School years earlier. And some began to speculate that he may have murdered the nun to keep her from exposing him at the time. DNA testing was also in its infancy. And detectives had hoped advances in technology now could provide a match that wasn't possible back then. There is not a match. So what does that mean? Well, it does not necessarily mean that he is exonerated, nor any more than it means that the other suspects whose DNA we have compared are exonerated. While the mystery behind Sesnick's death has been the subject of countless news stories over the decades, the recent movement in the case... The story is the cover-up of the nun story. And the Netflix special prompted Archbishop William Lorry to release a two-page letter outlining the Archdiocese of Baltimore's actions over the last 48 years, in which he states, quote, No criminal charges were ever filed in connection with Sister Kathy's death or the allegations of abuse. For their part, police say with the DNA testing complete, there is no forensic aspect of the case left to explore. They must now rely upon any witnesses who still survive to come forward with conclusive information if they're ever going to be able to solve this case.